and uh, it's great to have you here with me again. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments what you think I should do or what you'd like to hear me talk about or um, say. And um, as I said, I kind of started this series in an effort to empower, support, inspire you. And at the same time, um, it gives me a chance to share my work with you on a more kind of one-to-one -one personal basis um, rather than just read my books. Um, so, you know, because not everyone's an avid reader. So it makes sense that I do this um, in a way to kind of um, share more of what I do with more of you. Um, in a positive way and in a way that um, I feel I can help or that my work can be of help. Um, sorry about that noise. <laughs> okay, so um, yeah, I thought today, um, I did say that um, I was going to start incorporating some of my teachings. I'm not sure if that's a good idea in the sense that, you know, it might not be for everybody. But if you do want me to do that as part of this series, let me know. Um, if you if you feel I should do it, but as part of a separate series, um, you know, then let me know. Um, so I won't kind of um, sort of bombard you with with that stuff just yet. Um, let's let's just keep it light um, for the first couple of videos. And then when I get feedback on what you think I should do, then I'll start doing it, of course, because, um, you know, this is for you guys is um, um, sharing what I do with you to empower and inspire you. Um, so today, uh, let's see. Well, I came across a passage I'd written um, it's about limitations and it says the limitations we set for ourselves become the limitations we come to live by. Um, that's quite a powerful one, I reckon, um, in the sense that it's talking about how we limit ourselves in the way we do things, the way we perceive things, the way we act. I'm just in the same boat as you um, when it comes to doing things um, in your life that you feel have impacted you in a limiting way, <laughs> you know, because I I know this knowledge, I, I share this knowledge and it's channeled written knowledge doesn't mean that, you know, all of a sudden it doesn't apply to me. It applies to everyone else. It's not the case. Um, I have to learn from my own teachings. I have to, you know, when I know it's hard to kind of say that because you say, well, you're the one who wrote it. But yes, but because of the way it's written, it's like new knowledge to me. And I've got to then share it or understand it. Or reflect on it just as in the same way as as you may so um, I know it sounds funny but that's because um, the auto written or channeling process is one where you're slightly disengaged from as yourself from the process so after it's written that's when you can read it and see it makes sense but you know um, I do as I said like to share my insights but how you read my work, you may perceive it in a different way. And we'll talk about some techniques and things like that a bit later. But for this passage, the limitations we set for ourselves become the limitations we come to live by. It means that we all are all or we are all um, guilty of limiting ourselves in various aspects of our lives and once you start limiting yourself the the limits that you put on yourself become the limits that you are going to live by in other words what you perceive as limiting views whether you're aware of it or not um, are going to limit you in your life by purely by what you you think and perceive in other words 
you know, if you feel you're not good enough to do something um, and you believe that, then that becomes a limitation that you find difficult to move beyond. So in that respect, once you kind of say, hey, and this is an important one, yeah, once you start to reflect on what you're doing and you start to become aware of it, then you can say, wow, I think I need to change this or I think I need to stop limiting myself. And really what that passage is talking about is how to stop limiting yourselves or making you aware that if you do limit yourself, you are becoming limited in all aspects of your life. You know, this is this is your life, how you're going to live it. And if you're viewing things in a limiting way, you're limiting your self-expression, you're limiting who you are and you're limiting the person that you're destined to be. And this is not, let's, let's, let's be clear, this is not someone else limiting you. This is you limiting yourself. And we're all guilty of it, you know. Um, we're, we're all kind of guilty of seeing things in a certain way and limiting ourselves. Um, so just like you, I'm learning from this material and I want you to learn from it, to say today, say to yourself, wow, I have been limiting myself or what am I limiting myself in? Like if you're thinking I'm stuck in a rut, I'm not moving forward, um, things are not going in the way that I wanted them to, or this isn't happening, or that isn't happening. Take some time today to reflect on it and ask yourself, what am I doing holding myself back? What is limiting me? You know, what is, what is um, holding me back in respect of what I want to do and I want to achieve? And if you can recognise, it, obviously if it's someone else, that's different. But this is about self-reflection and you limiting yourself. So if you, if you see that you are limiting yourself in any way, shape or form, this is when you need to own it and you need to say, I am limiting myself. I'll tell you why this is actually quite an important thing. I'll tell you how it affected me maybe a little bit towards the end but if you think about how you're limiting yourself you need to say hey I need to put to bed these limitations that I've made for myself because that is what you're living by you know those limitations are defining the course of your destiny whether you are aware of it or not um, and, you know, it's painful to kind of be aware of it, that you are an architect in your own kind of limitation and downfall. But we all are in certain ways, you know, all kind of shapes and forms. We do that all the time. So today this video is about recognising those limits that you're putting in yourself and based on what we spoke about in the last series, making a decision to nip it in the bud, you know, like limiting stuff. What can I do about it? Why am I doing it? You know, try to recognize what the fears are, what the reservations are and why you're putting these limits on yourself. A lot is to do with having the confidence, having the belief, uh, having the trust in yourself to say, I can do this, or whatever the limit is, it could be anything, you know, I can do this, I can overcome this, or I'm better than this, or let me stop limiting myself so that I can see if I can take a new path. Um, that's another aspect of, you know, overcoming the limitations that we're setting for ourselves because you don't want to live 
in a way that you're kind of limiting yourself in everything you do and you know I've been guilty of it myself and I'll tell you how I'll tell you why a little later and um, you just kind of have to say to yourself I need it's again similar to what we spoke about in the last um, episode you literally have to be willing to come out of your comfort zone and come out of um, whatever limits that you've put on yourself and overstep them see yourself as bigger than the limits that you've given yourself see yourself as um, better and see yourself as rising above these limitations that only you've said I mean fair enough someone may have said to you something that it may have affected you it may have brought you down it may have um, you know made you feel as if you weren't good enough or that you don't have what it takes to achieve something or become something or succeed at something those kind of um, external feedback from people can also have an effect on you but you have to see everything from um, a standpoint or as I like to say reflective standpoint where you kind of step out of yourself you analyze it you say hang on a minute they said this about me but is it true do I really believe it if you're buying into their lies or their you know what they have to say then you have to stop yourself and say listen why am I buying into what they're telling me do you know what I mean I know the person I was before they said this or I know the person I was before I knew them or they said whatever they said you know have to reflect on who you are and um, again some of the techniques and, and things that I've spoken about that I will share as we get into, you know, the series a bit more when you know me more and you kind of um, feel more accustomed to what I'll be sharing, then, yeah, you might, uh, I might, you might say, yes, tell me more about how I can work on the deeper side of things. And I'll be happy to share that. But I don't want to make it too heavy that people who want just a quick kind of pick me up or listen to what I'm saying to feel, oh no, I'm going to get bogged down with all that. So <laughs> I'm not quite sure how to balance it, but yeah, you tell me and um, I'll see how I, I can balance it. Obviously, if I feel it comes into it and it's pertinent, then I'll, I'll definitely share it on the fly on, on in this. But if you kind of feel that you'd like something more in depth, um, I can maybe do a separate series for that. But um, yeah, definitely think about why you're limiting yourself, what you can over overcome. Because what I find with a lot of negative things is once you become aware of them, once you become aware that you're doing them, it's almost like you can conquer them because you your awareness empowers you to do something about it. You know, when you're ambling along and you haven't really thought about it, that's why I love this um, video series, because I'm going to get you to think about those things. You know, I know you've got your busy lives. You've got to, you know, drop the kids off, go to work, whatever. Do whatever you need to do throughout your day. But I want you to take a moment and reflect on those things, because if you don't, they'll they'll just continue to grow and build up you you're not going to tackle them and i think that's essentially what it is once you become aware of it you can tackle it you can start to say wow i didn't realize i was doing this but in a way i am and then you can say okay decision time what am i going to do about it and how am i going to do about it the the how to 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 stop those limitations is to empower yourself look at the benefits of the person you are look at the positives not the negatives okay the negatives are just going to make you fall back into that kind of trap you know of um wow i am i'm limiting myself but i just don't know how to overcome it or how or what to do about it do you know what i mean so 
you might want to say, you know what, well, if I am limiting myself and I need to do something about it, um, the best way to start is to consider who you are and the person you know you can be. Because if you can, then you can take things to a new level. You can overstep, as I said before, you need to overstep those limitations. And the best way to overstep them is to see beyond them and say, that doesn't, that's not me. You know, my limits don't actually fully define me as a person. I'm more than that. I'm, I, you know, and you have to big yourself up. You have to believe in yourself. Even if you think, oh, I don't know what, what I'm saying right now. Um, uh, if you're trying to big yourself up and you're saying what I'm saying right now, I don't quite believe it yet. It doesn't matter. What matters is what is coming out of your mouth and what is coming out of your thoughts are eventually going to push whatever the situation or circumstance or whatever the limiting belief is going to push that out of the way. So you will stop the limitations. You will overcome them by your own effort to do so. And, um, you know, when I said to you, um, this is an interesting one because, um, and obviously I'm very new to this patron thing, but, um, I've just realised, because when I did the video for it, I realised that it was something I was limiting myself. Because everything everything in my work that I'm doing, you know, because I do meditations, books, um, you know, um, picture quotes, you name it. I try and share what I do in every way, shape or form. And so what I realised when I heard about this patron thing, I realised that I've been limiting myself for so long um, because I thought everything I'm doing, I kind of have to do it off my own back and on my own. And uh, and it's been, you know, an ongoing process and not an easy one when you when you're kind of like a full time writer. But you need to take care of your life to not or, you know, so that you can try and do as much as you can in the time that you have. And one of the things I thought, you know what, I'm going to stop limiting myself. I'm going to join this patron thing to see what comes of it. Because, hey, if I do get support for what I'm doing, I have a guess what? I can do more of this and do it on a full time basis rather than little snippets of part time that I get at the moment. So um, that was for myself a limitation. I only just realised literally like a few weeks ago, that after all this time with what I'm trying to do, what I'm trying to achieve, like how to share my work, how to, you know, get more of my material out there, because I've got a lot of material, um, how to get it out there to people and share it abundantly to help others, to inspire others. I just thought, I'm limiting myself. Because I'm refusing to view or perceive other avenues that I can go 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 along to help me achieve my goals, um, you know, and that that was a major thing for me, like to to for it to dawn on me that after years of of of, of effort and um, input, I had actually been limiting myself by what I'm doing, and I only recently discovered that. So. These limitations are subtle. You may not be fully aware of them or they may not immediately glare you in the face. And, you know, these these are the things about discovering these negative things that we do in our lives. We don't fully clock them when we should, you know, and limiting myself um, in terms of trying to do everything off my own back. Um, you know, has made me, as as I kind of said, I'm not sure if, I mean, if you watch that video, which you will do if you if you, you ever go there um, to the patron site, if you watch that video, I do say that, you know, this is a new step in a new direction, but it's taken me ages to clock it. So that's what I mean about these limitations. They can be across board in all aspects of your life. 
and you you don't realize them and I, I as I said this dawned on me I was actually doing the video for the for for the patron landing page that you know you have to do some video and I was making that video and it clocked wow I've been limiting myself all this time whoa I can't believe it do you know what I mean so check yourself check what it is that's holding you back check if you have been putting limitations of yourself like I had and once I realized I am limiting myself I then thought I can take things I can take my work in a new direction I can do things you know in a new way um, and that's really why I kind of started doing that because I thought you know this is a new direction why not give it a try you know if people like what I do and they want to support me great you know if they don't then it doesn't matter um, what the key is is that I didn't put the limit there and say oh no 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 I'm not going to do that no 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 I got to do all this off my own back my own back you know that kind of attitude and thinking limits you and the purpose of my work is not to leave it limited and leave it in my journals or leave it, you know, on my desktop. My The purpose of my work is to get it out there, to share it. And if people like it and support me, then I can do more of it. I can make more of it. You know, I'd even love to go so far as like do an app or something. Do you know what I mean? With this knowledge and wisdom. But it was like a doorway opened because I got insight into what I had been limiting myself doing. And you may get the same breakthrough. Um, it could be anything, it could be in your work, it could be, um, you know, family, it could be career, it could be job, it could be love. What limitations are you putting on yourself? Nip them in the bud. And that is my message for today. Do not allow them to progress, you know, a minute, a day, a week, a month longer. Do something about that now. And yeah, new doorways can open for you by doing so. Um, you know, and uh, one thing that I have tried to avoid and will probably, one of my passages is probably going to come up talking about judgment but um you know it's so easy to to look at people and and make a judgment on them but you can also look at look on yourself we don't want to judge ourselves too harshly but you can judge what you're doing wrong and say to yourself i need to put this right and you don't need to leave it a week a month a year you can do it right away, which is what I did when I thought, let me start, you know, um, doing this series and even with the patron series. So there you go. Um, we're all in the same boat. Let's journey together. Let's do this together. And um, yeah, thanks again for being with me on um, this series or, or you know at least this episode <laughs> hopefully won't drop out too soon but yeah I really enjoy doing them and um, I'm really glad that you're here with me watching and uh, as I said you know like share subscribe um, I'll be I'll be bringing these out you know, new ones each time and I'll be listening and looking out for your comments to let me know what you think I should do and what you think I should, um, you know, kind of cover, and I'll be happy to do that. Um, what a lot of you may have realised in all my work is that I normally use my passages as a kind of a starting point for discussion or for creating, um, you know, my books and things like that. So I kind of like to use them as a, as a starting point for stuff, but. I have so many topics and, you know, so many variations. I'm sure no matter what you ask, we'll, it will kind of be in there in some way, shape or form. So I'll definitely listen to your comments and, and do that. If you like what I'm doing and you wish to support me, you can go to my Patreon page. 
I'll leave the details in the comments below. And um, yeah, check me out. And um, there I will be giving some deep, 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 deep insight into my work. So, um, you know, some really in-depth stuff if people want to go that far. But, um, and I'll also be sharing the progression of what I do um, there as well. So if you're kind of into that, then yeah, join me. I, I, you know, I'm opening up about everything. So um, I'll, I'll be happy for you to be there with me on that journey as well. But no matter what, I'll be carrying on with this uh, video series, which, you know, um, just needs you to listen really, if, if you like it. But yeah, it's, it's, it's a new thing for me. And I'm just, happy to be kind of starting this really and uh, having you join me on it as well so love and light to you stay inspired stay positive think about what I've said try to apply it in your day today and let's see where it takes you give me feedback if you felt what I've said has helped and um, yeah I'll share your stories and um, love to love to get get your feedback on on everything I'm doing so far but hope, hopefully you'll have a beautiful day I mean you know I think you can see the sun streaming in here which is rare because <laughs> we're coming up to winter soon but yeah I'm making the most of it um and um just just it's just been an amazing day so thanks so much love and light to you